Hey guys, Funk Roberts here, and welcome to my dumbbell hit workout. If you don't know who I am, I'm Funk Roberts, former professional athlete, turned online fitness trainer, metabolic master trainer, and I'm known around the world as the guy who helps men in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s get in the best shape of their life. And today, we are gonna use dumbbells, we're gonna use the metabolic or hit protocol, and we're gonna combine them for this awesome workout. All right, let's break it down for you. We've got eight exercises. Each exercise we're gonna be doing for 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds rest one after the other we want to do as many reps as possible during that time we're gonna do three straight rounds no rest in between I can't believe I just said that but we're gonna do it um, so you have your dumbbells here I've got 15s 20s 25s and 30s okay so round one we're just gonna warm up although you should have already done a warm-up before you start this workout okay so get your dumbbells ready you can see the first exercise it's alternating single chest press to tricep extensions I'm gonna get on the ground so I can start this in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. All right. So we're gonna do single chest press. Again, a couple of chest press first. One, two, three, four, and let's go single. So one, so go one, two, and then single tricep extensions. So keep your back on the ground, 45 degree angle when you're pressing, press straight over your head, core tight, inhale on the way up, exhale on the way down. So this is round one. So all we want to do in round one is just get used to this exercise. Whew. Right, I'm going to throw some things in round two and three at you. So I just want you to get used to the exercise. All the way down, blast up, and then tricep extensions, keep those elbows pointed straight. All right, next up, we are going to get plyometric. We're going to go dumbbell, jump squat to clean. If you got bad knees, just do the squat and clean, but well, we're doing jump squats and cleans, okay? We're getting right into this. I'm not messing around here. <laughs> Keep your nose out to your mouth, here we go. All right, so down, squat, jump, squat, and then clean. Jump, squat, clean. Good, now, when you're jump squatting, just make sure knees are pointed out, and try to clean the same time. There we go. Elbows, tight. And it's a little bit of a clean, and a little bit of a curl, okay? I've got 20 pounds, so it's gonna be easy for me to curl. Explode, land soft, clean. Explode, land soft, clean. Same time, good. Keep breathing, good work, all right. We're getting down on the ground. I'm gonna start off with 15s here for round number one. We're doing a triple row to lat raise, big up to JD on Instagram because I got a lot of inspiration from some of the workouts he does. So I'll put his link below, some great stuff. Here we go. So 20s, two, three, and then explode. So basically what we're doing here, staggered stance. Now we're gonna use the momentum for a lateral raise. So we're not gonna do a strict lateral raise. That's why we can go a little bit heavier here. But I'm starting with 15 right now. Back straight, good. Elbows tight to the body. Back straight, and then up with that lateral raise. Two, three, up, good. Again, this is round one, right? So we're not gonna go too crazy. Up, good. Switch sides. Again, I got the 15s because I just want to ensure that I've got the right technique. Core's tight. Right, and again, it's not a strict lateral raise. Okay, it's more of a power lateral raise. That's what we're gonna call that one. Deep through your nose, out through your mouth. Get that oxygen in. Nice pull exercise here too. Okay, right here. Two, three, and up. And control. Two, three, learn how to control the light weight, because when you get heavy, it's gonna be a little bit tougher. Good. So roll back by your hips. Three, and then up. Slightly up. One, two, three. Make sure your hand is right above the knee, not on the knee. Up, good. One, two, three. Nice, I'm feeling this now. Two, three. Good work, wow, I felt that. Okay, next exercise. We are doing single hammer curls to double curl. So once again, round one guys, don't have to go too crazy. I'm gonna just use 15s for now so I can, so I can see where I'm at, right? I wanna test 
to see where I'm at and see if I have to increase next round by and by how much. Okay, so single hammer, single hammer, double, okay? So, a few things. Elbows are tight, core tight, butt tight, right? Keep that pillar tight. We can go strict here because it's lightweight. Shoulders back. Good. And you can even do a little bit of a nice supinate at the top, depending on how flexible your wrists are. <laughs> here we go. Good work. I can talk this much just because I'm using lighter weight. Okay, we're gonna go to the three-way lunge. All right, goblet, let's pick up 20s. Again, I'm just getting a feel for what I can use for the next round. You should be doing the same. So goblet, three-way lunge. I'm gonna go reverse, side, front. Goblet up, core tight, elbows in. Reverse, side, and then front. Good. And then that opposite, opposite leg, reverse. Side, ooh, too low. Front, good. Reverse, reverse, side, push off with that front leg, and front, sorry, core tight. Reverse, back, side, push off, front leg, and make sure you keep that body tall, right? Body's gotta be tall throughout the entire movement. Core has to be engaged. All right, we're going into push-up burpees on the dumbbell. Get your oxygen going. Round one, I figured I could talk the most during round one. Round two and three, it's gonna be more work. How you guys feeling so far? All right, here we go. Burpees, up, down, push up, up. So I got the 20s, blast up, down. Good. Keep those elbows tight, doing the push-up. Make sure the dumbbells go down first before you thrust back. Keep going. Explode, knees pointing out. Good work. All right. Oh, oh that was tough. That was tough, kids. All right, loaded dead bugs. We're gonna start with, let's start with 20s. Whew, gotta catch my breath here. Deep through your nose, out your mouth. Here we go. All right, dead bug position. And we're just gonna lower each leg, bring it back up to 90. Lower, bring it back up to 90. Pushing your lower back into the ground. Whew, good. That's all we're gonna do, so keeping dumbbells above your head try not to let them move ensure that your lower back is pushed against the ground this is not a speed movement here core anti-side lateral good keep going awesome all right back up actually we're not back up we're back in the uh, saddle here I'm gonna scooch over to get the 25s. So now we're back to alternating chest press. We're gonna do two alternating chest press to side and then tricep extensions. Round two, kids, here we go. One, so both at the top, sorry. Start at the top, one, two, two, and then singles here. Good. So, less talk for me but focusing on the right technique. Oh, oof. I may just go one tricep to the side. Good. Down, up, good. Down, up, whoa. Who thought 25 is gonna be so tough? But of course it's gonna be tough because we've just pre-exhausted our body, right? We just pre-exhausted ourselves with that push-up burpee and then 
with the dead, dead pugs. So yeah, you don't need much for the chest. All right, we're going to go into jump, jumping squats, more jumps guys. And if you can't jump, you just do this, okay? But I'm gonna jump and as I come up, clean. Down, jump, clean. When you're cleaning, which is a slight hip hinge, make sure that your glutes are tight. Here we go. Let's go a little bit faster now. Good. Up, land on your balls of your feet, heels on the ground. Oh. Up, keep going, baby. Oh, man. All right. Oxygen. Keep your nose out of your mouth. We're doing staggered rows to power lateral raises. All right. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Three, one, two, three. There it is. So I'm using 20s. Back straight and rowing up on my hips. Three, just a slight stagger. That's all. Two, three, up. One, two, three. Exhale on the way up. Elbows tight to the body. Oh, yeah. Three. Try to get as many reps as possible. Good work. The key to this workout is you want to try to go as heavy as you can. Okay, if you have to rest, rest. But you want to go as heavy as you can. This is not one of those, I want to go super, super light and kill the reps. Let's go a little bit heavier. Still try to get through the whole 40 seconds without stopping. But you want to really Invoke some muscle growth here. Two, three, progressively overload. Good. One, elbows tight. If it ain't tight, it ain't right. Two, three, core tight too. Breathing up. Nice. One, two, three, up. One, two. Up, 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 oh, keep going. Oh, good. I need water, man. I need water, man. That's right. Click the link below if you want the insulated water bottle. Funk supplements, it's a beast. Okay, we're gonna start with this hammer to double curl, <laughs> 25s. I got scared there. One, two, double, good. Up, keep those elbows tight. Even fatigued, you gotta do it right. Shoulders back, up. I felt that one. Keep going. Control on the way down too. Yeah. Keep going. We're getting the forearms. Oh, gee, Willikers. I said it again, gee, Willikers. All right. This is round two, so let's go 25s on the three way. I'm gonna stand here, if that's cool, so I can step forward. Oh, how are you guys feeling? You good? All right, let's focus here. Let's focus. Reverse lunge. Let's go start with the left, all right? Side, push off, forward, good. Reverse, side, push off, forward. The whole time, keep that core tight. If you don't keep it tight, then you're gonna keel over. You're not gonna have that stability. Good, push off with that front leg. Step back to the front and then to the front. Try the whole time to keep your body tall, obviously, because you're holding the dumbbell, right? Goblet. And then when you're not that flexible, you feel it in the hips. All right. Oh, I gotta get my oxygen here for a second. 
Because next up we got burpees, the burpinators. And if you don't, can't jump at the top, don't worry about it. Just get in that push up. Here we go. Down, push up. Good. Remember, dumbbells down first. Make sure the elbows are tight in the push up. Good. Keep going. Yeah. One more. Yeah. Oh my God. Stay up shoes. Forget the shoes. Let's grab the lighter weights on this next exercise. Dead bug. Okay. Just make sure the lower back's in the ground. Let's do legs first. One. One. Now, let's do a traditional dead bug. Down. Back up. Good. Down. Try to keep that dumbbell straight. If you can, above you and going down. Slow movement. We want to go light here because your shoulders are in a tough position. Nice work. All right, one more round, guys. I can't believe I'm saying this. One more round. I don't know what I'm going to do with these shoes, but yeah, you do what you can. 30s, let's go to 30s. I'm now in workout mode, guys. So we're just doing this together. Single. Let's do singles. 30s now. One, two. So just keep pressing above your eyes. Feel the cracks. Push down. Gonna finish off with 20s. That's just too much for me. Oh, saved by the bell, baby. All right, here we go. Dumbbell jump squats. Oh. If you, if you see me moving a little gingerly, could be because of a little lower back issues, but we battle through. We battle through. Here we go. Down. Keep going. Let's keep those knees pointed out. And keep breathing. Good. Oh. Oh my God. All right, we're gonna try 30s on the, on the, on the row. <laughs> this is what's supposed to happen with this workout, right? The heavier you go, the faster you go. We're really hitting that metabolic stride here. One, two, three. There we go. One, two, three. These are 30s now if you're Wondering, elbows tight. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. And then I can go down if I need to, which I do. And rest too, because I want to make sure I'm getting. Are you guys done like I am right now? I hope so. Or if you're just watching this 
and you want to do this later on, this is tough. Especially when you challenge yourself using heavier weight. My heart wants to come out of my chest right now. One, two, three. Good. Starting back with the 30th. Now I'm also feeling this in my hamstrings, in my quads, because we just did jump squats. And now we're in an isometric lunge position. But the focus, ah, there it is. One, two, three, power. Oh, one, and my core. Holy. All right. I need a bit more water, guys. Quickly. Got 10 seconds. Insulated water bottle. I wish that gave me energy. All right. What do we got here? 30s. All right. One, two, Good. May move a little bit slower here. So I'm gonna go a little bit I'm gonna speed up a bit. Go lighter. Good. Also, we're pre-exhausting every time we do an exercise, right? I don't know if you saw that, but the row is a pull and curls are pulls. So we just keep pre-exhausting our muscles. So even if you don't get a lot of reps, it's okay. You still worked it in a specific way. Don't get all cleaned up on yourself. All right, we're gonna move here. Got the 30s again. Ooh. Movement is tough right now. Reverse, side, front. You can definitely see how my mind works. How I have metabolic training. You can see where all the dumbbells are. Reverse, side, front. Push off with that front leg. We're doing the burpees. Oh. I might be gonna talk. Okay, here we go. Push up burpees. Dumbbell deadlifts. Sorry, dumbbell dead bucks. Ah! Here we go. Oh. Down. Back up, good. Remember, just push the back. Bottom. Your back. Lower back into the ground. Try to keep those arms straight. It's gonna be tough. So I know you're fatigued. I am fatigued too. I can barely breathe. My muscles are burning. I gotta concentrate. We're gonna have a little bit of time to put in the work. So let's make good use of it. Time. Oh, there you go, guys. Oh man, I am dusted, but I feel great. 
that it's done, you know what I mean? I think in about 10 minutes, I'm gonna have a better feeling. Anyways, thank you so much, guys. Get that oxygen, there you go. This is a 24 minute workout. We incorporated dumbbell, uh, you know, resistance movements with HIIT training, metabolic training. So not only are we burning calories during the workout, but we're gonna be burning calories hours and hours after because of the afterburn effect. Oh, this is something you're gonna do two, three times a week, but not the same workout, different workouts. Like the ones you're gonna get in my Over 40 Alpha program, over40alpha.com. Listen, do some abs, stretch, make sure you put some protein into this, maybe BCAAs to help with your recovery. Thank you so much. Like, share, comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you wanna see another that type of workout. Hit up JD on Instagram. I got my inspiration from him. You guys are awesome and I'll see you in the next workout. Get it done. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that video and you learned something from it today. Please like it, share it, comment below, subscribe to this channel, and if you want additional workouts, please join my YouTube membership. And if you like that video, click that button right there to watch that next video, and I'll see you on the other side. Get it done.